With LSAT removing one of the biggest LSAT retake limits, a lot of folks are wondering, how many times should I take the LSAT? Hey, what's up everybody? Steve Schwartz here from LSAT Unplugged, joining you today to share how many times you should take the LSAT. Before I get into it, a little bit about LSAT Unplugged. We offer live online classes via Zoom, on-demand video courses, small group coaching, and one-on-one -on -one coaching. Check out the links below this video to find out more and to book a call with me and my team. We'd love to help you out. So the reason I'm making this video is that LSAC recently removed the retake limit on taking the LSAT three times within one testing cycle. The only major remaining retake limits are taking the LSAT five times within one reportable score period, aka five years, and seven times for life. What this means is that you can take the LSAT five times easily and then apply to law school. You could take the LSAT three times one year, two times the following year, then go ahead and apply and you're totally good. You could even take the LSAT five times in a single year and then apply to law school. And the truth is that it would not really matter even if you took the LSAT five times in one year because law schools do not average multiple LSAT scores, but rather they only take the highest score. Now, of course, all else being equal, it's better to take the LSAT once and be done with it, or to take the LSAT twice and be done with it. But if it takes you three, four, five times or more in order to achieve your fullest potential, I say, why not? Law schools have no incentive to care about how many times you took the LSAT. They only have incentive to care about what your highest score was, since that is what gets reported to the American Bar Association and in turn gets reported to U.S. News for consideration in creating the U.S. News rankings. And of course, schools care a great deal about their place in the rankings because that's what determines a lot of their prestige and how many donations they get from alums, the employment outcomes for their graduates, all of that. And so... The removal of this retake limit is a great thing for you and a great thing for the schools. It's a great thing for you because it gives you more at-bats to get the highest score possible. In fact, I recommend that everyone retake the LSAT at least once for the simple reason that through luck alone, you could do a few points better. And if you don't, no big deal. For example, let's say that your average LSAT score was a 160 and you took it and you got a 160 on test day. Well, of course, most people would say a 160 is what you deserved. It's what you could reasonably expect to get. And that is your quote unquote true LSAT score. But as your advocate, as your coach, I say, let's give you another at bat. Let's give you another shot and see if you can't get a 163. If you retook the LSAT and got a 163, that's the score that's now getting reported to the law schools as their highest score and in turn going to the ABA, the U.S. News rankings and such. And so obviously your admissions outcomes will be better with a 163. You get into better schools, you'll get more scholarship money, maybe both. Now, of course, you might retake the LSAT and do worse than the 160. You might get a 160 again. But if through chance, if through luck, you took a test on test day that played to your strengths and you got that 163, all the better. If you got the 160 again or did worse, no big deal. Because again, law schools do not average multiple LSAT scores. They only take the highest. You might even want to take the LSAT again a third time and see if you couldn't get a 163 on your third attempt. No real downside other than another month or two of studying, staying fresh on the LSAT, maybe taking another practice test every week or so, that might be all you have to do to get another shot at achieving your maximum highest potential score. It's worth the effort. It's worth the shot, considering that just one more point on the LSAT could lead to thousands of dollars more in scholarship money, getting into a better school or both. Retaking the LSAT, giving it a bit more time, a bit more invested in the process could be the easiest money you'll ever make in getting literally tens of thousands of dollars in scholarship money. I see students get full rides. I see students get stipends on top of the full rides, meaning you could actually get paid to go to law school. So when people ask me, how many times should I take the LSAT? I say, well, how many times are you willing to take it if another 
take or two could get you a few points more. It's well worth the effort. Anyway, folks, that's all for now. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do me a favor and share it with someone who needs to see it. I don't do any advertising for this channel. I rely only on word of mouth to help get the word out. And your sharing this video could make a big difference for this channel and a big difference for the person you're sharing it with in giving them that much more motivation to retake the LSAT and get another shot at achieving their fullest potential. In the meantime, I'll wish you all the best and take care.